This is a tutorial um, about the differences between arteries, veins, and then the smaller arterioles and venules. Uh, it's about the key features of each, uh, the role in the cardiovascular system, and will enable you by the end to compare the all three, four, sorry, all four. We will start then with the purpose. Okay, in one of my lovely amateur drawings. What you have here is the representation of body cells. And each one of these body cells in order to function and to stay alive requires oxygen. It then produces carbon dioxide, which then needs to be taken away. It's a waste gas, it needs to be removed. And all this is done by arteries, arterioles, venules and veins. Let me explain further. Imagine then that this is an artery carrying blood to each one of these cells. Uh, often in diagrams, uh, oxygenated blood, so coming in with the oxygen in, is coloured red. The reason for that is blood carrying oxygen is slightly redder than blood that is then carrying less oxygen and carbon dioxide, which has got a tint of blue. So obviously the main artery, it's too big to take blood to these cells. So it starts going into smaller capillaries. So it can then successfully take oxygen to each cell. Uh, so it stays alive. So that's your arteries. Let me write that down. Let's write it in black. So in the arteries, um, blood is arriving to take oxygen to each one of the cells in the body. Uh, a arriving, A artery coming in, carrying oxygen. And that is then referred to as oxygenated blood. It's coming from the heart. It's pumping to every single cell in the body at great force to get it there. It needs to be working very hard to get it there. Um, imagine then this is the vein. OK, again, too thick to go to each cell. So if we separate these out into smaller capillaries, we then are able to take that carbon dioxide away. So, And that's carrying carbon dioxide away from each one of these cells. OK. It's carrying blood. Into the heart. To then get pumped to the lungs to collect oxygen. Uh, in comparison. The arteries. are taking blood away from the heart. If I explain this here, 
Okay, so I will cover up um, the bomb part to start off with. You don't need to know the words. Let's just look at the circuit. Right, so deoxygenated blood coloured blue is coming back from the rest of the body. Every one of those cells underneath the little pink dots have used the oxygen and then carbon dioxide needs to go up to the lungs to then be inhaled out uh, because we don't need that. It then picks up the oxygen coming back to the heart and going to take it through every blood cell. So the smaller network, which I represented in wool, is bringing in all the oxygen to every single blood cell and it is taking away the vein, um, the carbon dioxide through the veins. We move that out the way. So this little circuit here is a, a micro circuit. Um, so these smaller ones here is a micro circuit of capillaries. Just move that up like that. And the venules run into veins and the arterioles are coming from sorry that direction from the artery so let me just go over this again so your artery is bringing oxygen to through the arterioles to every cell okay these are capillaries in general but arterioles are carrying the red oxygenated blood in comparison, the venules are taking the blood away. It needs to go back to the heart to collect oxygen, represented in blue. These are the capillaries, they're arterioles, they are venules, they're in a micro circuit, and they're coming from the arteries and the veins. Okay, so now we need to look at the difference between these. So, I shall get drawing again, the difference between an artery and a vein. The middle of an artery or a vein is called the lumen. So, I will draw the artery in red. This is a side cut of it. Uh, you have the outside walls and then you have a muscle layer. So each side surrounding the artery is several layers of muscles which need to assist the blood that is coming from the heart. So if you look at this bit again, you have the lumen in the middle. The exterior then is muscle. I think perhaps I will colour the muscle uh, with a bit of pink so you can hopefully see that that's muscle So if you can imagine that the blood that is going right around to the rest of the body and to every cell in the body is being pumped at high blood pressure, okay, to get to each one of these, there is quite a uh, force needed. So um, if I then write, where's my red pen? Here it is. So the blood is flowing back to the heart. No, sorry, it's flowing away from the heart. So the blood is flowing away from the heart. It is going all the way round through these arteries, coming round to this capillaries, which are arterials to every cell in the body. It is then being picked up by the venules and going back to the heart because the aim of the game is this oxygen. 
Remember, the oxygen is required for every um, cell in the body. So the inside of the wall here is smooth, okay? Muscular walls, I'll say uh, smooth lumen. That's the middle. The blood is being carried away from the heart and it is going at high blood pressure. So high pressure because of that force needed to take it to every cell in the body. In comparison, we will look at the vein now. Okay, we'll draw it in blue. In comparison then, the vein walls are less muscular. Less muscular than the arteries because the um, the muscle action from the heart is helping that blood along. So it's almost like it squeezes, squeezes it to push that blood along. So that's why it needs to be more muscular, less so than with the veins. The reason being is it is flowing through here, less pressure. It's going back to the heart. back into the heart to be able to then be pumped up to the lungs to collect that oxygen to go back down to the heart. All right, so it's coming in. So uh, if we write here, uh, where's my pink pen? Here it is. So less muscular walls um, and uh, what it then needs, because it's fighting gravity, this is coming back from the arms and the legs and it needs to go into the heart. What it then has is a valve. Okay, the valve acts as a gate. The valve lets blood coming back up from the legs and the arms to be pumped through here and then it shuts behind it. And then further up here, you will have another valve and the blood will go through it and then the gates will then shut behind it. That means there is no backflow. So no backflow going that down because gravity needs it to be pumped up so it can go back into the heart to collect that oxygen. Remember that picture of the little white, uh, little pink body cells requiring that oxygen uh, to function, to keep alive. And then the carbon dioxide needs to be taken away to take it back into the heart. So, how are you gonna remember this? Second two letters, of a vein is in, first letter of an artery is A. A, the blood is going away in an artery, uh, in, the vein is bringing that blood in. Okay, the difference, it's got a much smoother lumen, it has got blood at high pressure coming from that heart, there is a muscle action that helps that blood flow along here. It's got the thicker uh, muscular wall. And that muscle action that is happening here to, to help the blood is, is where your pulse is. So your pulse is not actually your heartbeat. It's the muscle action that works with the heartbeat in order for the blood to get where it needs to get at that great force to every one of those cells. So an artery has a smooth lumen, it has thicker muscle walls, it is carrying blood at high blood pressure and it has a pulse and it's going away from the heart. In comparison, the vein is carrying blood at less blood pressure, uh, it has less muscular walls, however, to support this blood, uh, not having a backflow because it's at le less pressure, it has got valves that are opening gates 
to then shut so that the blood doesn't flow backwards and it's going into the heart. So you have then the difference between a, an artery and the vein. And then remember that you have a mini circuit going on here. That is the venules and the arterioles. So to revise, you need to look at the key features. You need to look at the role of that. You need to be able to tell the difference between an artery, a vein, an arterial, and then the venules. And it's all about carrying oxygen to each body cell and taking away the carbon dioxide. There are more resources to help you with your anatomy and physiology at the HSC resources shop on TES. There's lots of free um, resources there to help either teachers or students to understand. There is a handy search facility there so that you can find them, all right? Hopefully you now know and understand the key features and the role of arteries, veins, arterioles, and the cardiovascular, uh, in the cardiovascular system. Let's me put this back here so that you will be able to answer a question about these key feature, features, but also comparing. Uh, comparing, you might get an exam question about that. So it, it is a revision task for you now to go and learn the difference between all of those and then do exam practice answers.